This is the second um, video on the new, well, new second hand, Tay Glaze. This is an American lathe. Um, it's also known as Petol in the UK for some unknown reason. And um, today um, I, I'm i still weighing up as to whether or not to use the motor that came with it, which is this huge AC motor here, or whether to use this little scooter motor here, which I've uh, been testing. And this comes with a, um, I, well, I, I've added a, a speed controller here. Uh, so we turn it on with the volume control here. And uh, as you can see, there's a rev counter. I've actually got one that I, I used to use, which is a, a, a push bike one on the same motor. There's two Hall effect switches here and a magnet you can just see the magnet if I turn it a little bit there you go um, and uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, show you how the uh, how quiet this is it is really really quiet it's doing uh, let me just take it up to a thousand revs it's a beautiful motor these are used in uh, skateboards, motorized skateboards, and um, and children's scooters and so on. Um, let's just set that to around about a thousand. And as you can see, above about five hundred, the the push bike uh, rev counter at the back there is vastly inaccurate. If you go down to say three hundred. it's virtually the same and that's because it's for a push bike I mean somebody's doing a thousand revs on a push bike you take off um, I think it's okay up to about five six hundred and then it's virtually useless and 700 is okay 850 that's okay and then it fails to work properly but as you can see the other one carries on and this motor has a um, a speed of um, uh, 3600 revs now it's actually noisier than it would be because the motor uh, shaft has the magnet on it as you can see and that magnet is unbalancing the motor so I need to use a much smaller magnet than, um, than comes with it but if we take it right up to maximum power Three thousand seven hundred revs. That's a pretty fast motor. And uh, if I use that with um, gearing, um, by using still using pulleys, um, I can um, maintain the torque. Um, by just adjusting the pulley steps um, at slow speeds um, because the motor is running at a faster speed um, that's that's the latest um, update um, I've I've mounted it on the mounted the um, uh, motor and the and the uh, lathe itself on some Corian which is down here and um, and that's proven very very quiet it's it's immensely quiet in fact um as as per yesterday's video so quite pleased about that i put rubber feet underneath which are a bit squidged um i need to get some proper rubber feet and i'm sure that will make me improve it even more it is a very quiet very very quiet motor so it might be that i, I don't need to to change it um uh, i can apply uh, the um, I can apply the rev counter to uh, to the motor here with just a little a small 12 volt supply. 
So that's it for today. Onwards and upwards.